Team USA's Allison Felix sprinting into the record books, becoming the most decorated U.S. women's track and field star of all time. But everybody's talking about this. Missing gold after that dive. Let's get right to TJ. He's at the Olympics desk. How could this be? Yeah, guys, we saw a brand new Olympic sport last night that combines two sports track and field and diving. Yes, this track dive we saw last night made for one of the most dramatic moments we have seen at these Olympics. The other dramatic moment we saw yesterday, Simone Biles almost fell off the balance beam, but she still ended up on the medal stand. A photo finish in Rio. In the women's 400 meter, the favorite American Allison Felix in her fourth and likely final Olympics came from behind and had gold within her grasp. The sprint ended with a photo finish. The Bahamas' Shawnee Miller diving her way across the line for gold, edging out Felix by 0.7 seconds. That dive got swift reaction, many questioning the tactic. The Team USA star had to settle for silver, but earning her seventh Olympic medal. The 30-year-old is now the most decorated female track athlete in U.S. history. And it was a tough night on the balance beam for American Simone Biles, who was aiming for her fourth gold. Off to a brilliant start, but then this. The wobble seen round the world, and just like that, the gold medal was out of reach. Biles earned bronze. Striking silver, teammate Lori Hernandez with a near flawless showing. Earlier in the day, Biles posted this throwback photo of the two future Olympic medalists on Instagram. A beaming Biles congratulated her teammate with a huge hug. Some other big drama of the night outside the arena. Mother Nature striking the Olympics on Monday. Heavy rain flooded the racetrack, delaying the evening events. As wildfires burned just 10 miles from Rio's field hockey arena, and strong winds plagued sailing and men's diving. As far as that dive on the track goes, it's perfectly legal. You have to remember, guys, it's not just what some part of the body crosses first. It has to be the torso. That's why you see sprinters sometimes do that to get across the finish line. But it's perfectly legal. Just too bad the American missed out. Oh, yeah. It lit up Twitter last night, as you know. People wondering yes. about that. Thank you there, TJ.